So this final little video I'm doing on the phone rather than the decent camera just to talk through this gas conversion. So here's a, a little Bix burner um, which I bought from Forest Classics. Uh, absolutely su superb little burners they are. You do need to tune them which means you need to move the jet in and out of this burner to get the right air to um, gas mixture which I've already done. There are videos on, on YouTube, just Google or search for Bix burners and you get it. Um, beyond that, I've then connected, as I say, through this um, um, gas um, supply that I've uh, built myself. Quite proud of it, actually, because the alternative is to have separate tanks for each of the burners, which starts to get quite quite pricey for, for steam engines these engines aren't worth a fortune you're not spending more on the uh, burner and gas bottle and ga gas containers than you do on the, 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 the engines worth so the little needle valves I got from a firm called Hamilton gas products and used also a guy called um, T Norris who does gas for the um, marine industry so the thin ones are s uh, eighth inch pipe so we've got an um, eighth to quarter inch converter, quarter inch needle valve from Hamilton Gas Products. Then the rest of this is done in quarter, just standard stuff. This is all stuff you buy for caravans and boats and so on. So we have three, as you see, and I'll just lift the garage door so we've got a bit more light. Oh, that's a lot better. Oh, you actually shut it so I could see the burner injection. Oh, yes, that's much better. So, uh, as you can see, I've numbered each of the burners and the, the taps so we get them in the same place each time. So, uh, all I've done here is remove the uh, remove the little metal miner so you can see the burner going. Turn it off now so the radiant heat doesn't burn my lovely paint job. So, following on down here, I've uh, clipped all the, uh, the, the, the pipes. As you can see, there's burner number two going into the superheated SE1, which is my least favourite engine because I can't control it. And we've got the uh, the um, tool station, the manual tool station. This um, kitchen timer is very very sensible because you can set it 20 minutes. I wouldn't burn these. Certainly, um, th this one very difficult to control. As I say, I wouldn't burn any of them for longer than 20 minutes. And if you like to forget or get talking like I do, then you can damage so Here's the old Wilsco D20, fantastic engine. Um, it's needed a bit of TLC, but uh, paid enough for it. You can pay a fortune for these things in good condition on eBay. So onwards down here, we've got um, the gas point there. So I may plumb the Wilsco in, but I've since bought some Wilsco tools like this. So I may give it its own dedicated board. So for the moment we've got a, um, a blow lamp cylinder here, standard stuff, 7 16 inch thread on the top, little gas tap again from Forest Classics, brilliant, um, in through, the, this, this is what they supply, and into uh, the Bix um, burner here, which is, which is actually bigger, but I could take that out and show you how big that one is. Off. There we go, comparable size to its original burner burner tray, which you could use with meth or solid fuel. I'll put the tin foil in there, or aluminium foil, so we could use um, meths in it. Got it going, but it, the meth burns away from rather quickly. Okay, and then flexible pipe down here. Now, here's the interesting bit, because yes, you can run it off a gas cylinder, but this is where I failed first time. That is not a standard caravan or camping regulator they are low pressure regulators for for appliances used in caravans and so on this is a high pressure regulator i forget the pressure ratings but the the jets are so tiny in these burners you need the high pressure you can get delivered from one of these um, uh, uh, gas canisters for a blow lamp no problem but you need the right fittings from here on in. Even this rubber tube is, I think, 4.7 millimetres internal diameter, which is specialist high pressure. This is where I had to do quite a bit of research. 
So connect it all up, soapy water, usual stuff with gas, check there's no leaks, which I have. All went really rather well in the end once I decided what to do. But I, as I say, it's been a whole um, sort of lockdown project and I'm finally there for it finished well with this board. Um, very happy with it, including making the uh, the uh, stand for it. So there we are. Um, as I say, the um, the wheel scar, I don't quite know what to do. I might make a separate dedicated board um, for the wheel scar and the wheel scar tools, which I've recently got on eBay. Uh, because I can stand this one here, this steamroller, I can park just here instead of the wheel scar and drive all the tools from the flywheel of, of the steamroller. So we can get one board with just just mammoth stuff on it and then perhaps have a separate Wilsco board. I've got quite enthusiastic about it all, as I say. But, um, you know, obviously uh, I don't take any responsibility for anything you might do with gas, but it is possible with the right kit and a little bit of DIY skills to convert to a hammer gas bottle. So there's plenty of gas volume and pressure there to run four burners at once. One, two, three, four. Actually, to be fair, I've not had four going. I've only had three of the four points being used. Anyway, there we are. Another six minutes of listening to me. At that point, I'll shut up.